Hello guys, it's Grimpy here, and Dr. Pepper, the first of the released in America, released made by Americans, it, me, made, made by America, and, and when you make, and when you make something big, there's bound to be imitations. Now, I originally did this video, like, I originally did a similar video while I was outside, and, you know, only Dr. Pepper, but, I accidentally deleted that. So here's a here's a little bit better, more less less longer one. Now this video was inspired by comic Drake's Super Man Ripoff video. And and this does not mean that these things these things are bad or should be ashamed for what they are. I'm just, I just wanted to take a look at this video, and also, also I want to do something different for Brent Off Month instead of just doing, review a film or TV show. And so, then I got to Likely, I'll stick to free, free brands. Coca-Cola Company, Dr. PepsiCo, and National Beverage. As it would be... As it would probably be easier, and and not because you know it can easily to be bootlegged. So let's get started. Okay, yeah, let's start with the big one first. Also, they're the ones that aren't really a variant on another existing soda brand. That's it. And Coke is known for being known for having a lot of brands. Some that are released in America explain why they can get through many monopoly laws. Because if you you can't bring a trade market if if not all your brands are in that market. And theirs is and theirs has actually went through a couple name changes. And its name is is Mr. Pibb. To explain likely, Mr. Pibb was released in like 1972 in Waco, Texas, aka where where Doctor where Doctor Pepper was made. Actually, it was once called Peppo, but but Doctor Pepper sued them, and and so they went through a change to Mr. Pibb, which then got a name change in 2002 as as Pib Extra. Which, unfortunately, fans of the original have said it's not the same. But, from what I've actually tasted from it, it's a, it's a bit more different from Dr. Pepper as, as it's more of a cherry cola and less of a standard, standard like your typical, like, Dr. Pepper, like, copycat. And, but unfortunately, not even Pippa's parent company even cares about the drink. As, other than a Coke freestyle, the brand is not really well known. And they don't even do advertisements for it. And but the fans have actually but fans of the successor have actually made have actually made some fan ones. One of them even involving Adam and Eve. Which is actually a fun one. I kinda recommend it. The so song also has a mascot that was introduced in the late nineties, which which had the voice of a of like a nineties butler. And when you pour you pour Mr. Pip in his head, he would he would just go crazy. Yeah, the nineties were a weird time. You might have also heard Mr. Pip from American Dad. Which which was which so was referenced in earlier seasons. Despite the soda being discontinued four years before the show came out. Even, 
Even the success circuit's a shout out. This now even got a PC game that you can actually. It's surprising you can actually still play on emulator, but I'm best you better news download instead of DOS box. Because. I don't know, it's either usually the. Either the computer I'm using. Or Dawnspawn is not that much reliable for many 90s PC games. But. But you still can. Thanks to some emulation and professionalization. Now, on to. Oh, wait. If you also want to find a soda and, you know, to give it some a little bit, bit some love, you can find it at Del Taco and some Coca Cola Freestyles. You can also find it. Find us at your local grocery store and even sometimes gas station. Give. And if you want to give it a try. Now on to PepsiCo. Unlike Coke, which violates in some new sticks of drinks like juice, water, and plenty of soda, Pepsi likes to dabble in other things like, like chips, such as Lay's, Fritos, Cheetos, and even oatmeal with Quaker. And, and they've also dabbled and even own Soda Stream, this, that thing that turns water into soda that nobody uses. And, and even has its own version of Dr. Pepper called Dr. Pete. I'll give you some time to stop laughing. Okay. I have not tried it, but... But, given... It's more, given it might have a smooth taste. Given that's what Dr. Pepper usually is. And... That's all I can say about it. It doesn't really have uh, doesn't really have much to talk about. Now let's move on to natural beverage. I mean, to explain what natural beverage is, it's a uh, small liquor drink company known for known for Lacroix, that seltzer water that hipsters drink. And I've even reviewed. A couple of their brands being Ribbit Energy Drink and Fago, which I'll talk about. I'll talk about that soda after this one. But but they've also owned some sodas. Two of them actually have in their own version of Dr Pepper. Most likely due to them being like this brand, you might find you might find their drinks at like stuff like a dollar store. First one, we're going to start with Shasta. To explain what Shasta is, it's a solo brand known for this picking your standard like ones such as cola, orange, lemon, lime, lime, and even Hawaiian punch. And they've even done a promotion with, with Mario. With four flavors. Which, judging by the look inside thing, it probably was a contest. But they do have their own version of the Dr. Pepper. With Dr. Shasta, which sounds like a... A Mexican... Sounds like a doctor in a Mexican soap opera, or... Or a Bollywood film. Film. And I'm guessing... I'm guessing Shasta considers Dr. Pepper that so 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 to get because that's a part of their jingle. What Shasta's jingle. But hey. But hey, now let's on to the Fago. Now I already done two videos on this drink, so for a quick summary, it's a Detroit based solar brand. And for not really much. Other things I mentioned. They've 
believe in her thanks to Mash, they've also revolutionized the solo by having it last longer. Kind of like how Shasta was also the first solo to actually be in cans. And like Shasta, they've even done a... Done... With Super Mario Bros. The Movie. But was dropped... Was dropped most likely due to the film being in... Development, some development problems, and given Fago wasn't isn't really the biggest sub brand, but but we can see here thanks to they posted these on the Instagram what what could have been been and and the sub appearing as product placement later into the film, which which would sadly probably never happen today given. Given Nintendo becoming a bit more of a bigger company, and Fago really doing advertisements outside their social medias. But, and, and like Shasta, they have their own version of Dr. Pepper, Dr. Fago. And I'm guessing, getting like from the ones I have tried, this still is probably a taste bud tingler. Error, and that's pretty much it on that one. And it's, it's so far on all the stories I'm gonna tackle that aren't because maybe I missed some, but and I'm not tackling store brands because the title's already sounding mean and kind of treats sounding like these cells are kind of inferior. Inferior. But it was a fun trip to talk about, and it is, a, it is quite fun to talk about soda brands. Primarily since I do have a pretty interest in food brands. So, that's pretty much all of it. It's a nice one way, and, and that's all for now. Don't forget to like the like button, and don't touch in, and I'm trying to bring you too. Huh, next week's ants. This should be a nice, this should be nice being to explore my childhood.